hey y'all welcome back to the channel and thanks for coming back to another what's for dinner video where i just share with you what we had for dinner last week today's video is actually a collab with my friend rebecca from magnolia and pine rebecca is also a louisiana native and she's 31 years old with six boys four of whom she homeschools and their ages are from nine months to 13 years old she shares what's for dinner videos homeschooling videos grocery hauls um, as you can see here, she's got just about everything. She also shares some DIYs, so definitely go and check out her video. I will link it below after you watch this one. And let's go ahead and get cooking. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is baked general chicken. So just marinate some chicken thighs or breast, whatever you prefer, in some general chicken sauce and in some onions and bell peppers. I just use the Pick 5 seasoning blend. Then you need two cups of rice, a carton of chicken stock, and a couple handfuls of frozen broccoli. So the first thing that I did is dumped my marinated chicken into a casserole dish and then I just added a couple handfuls of broccoli. And then I stuck it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And then to do the rice, I just melted one tablespoon of butter and I used the whole carton of chicken stock, which is about four cups. And then I used the two cups of rice and I just cooked the rice on the stove like normal. And this came out really good. I really enjoyed this meal and I served it with some peas and carrots. <music> So the next thing that I did were some chicken wraps and I just marinated these chicken tenderloins in some Italian dressing and onion powder and then I cooked it up on the stove in some butter. This chicken was so delicious, it's definitely going to be a new regular. I think it would also be great tossed in a salad. But after the chicken was cooked, I went ahead and assembled the wraps. So I'm just using some tortillas and um, rubbing some honey mustard on the bottom of the tortilla there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of lettuce and then the chicken and some cheese. <music> So after my husband's review, I actually um, made my wrap with the chicken a little bit shredded and I used shredded cheese instead of sliced cheese and we just ate it with some carrots and croutons. So the next thing that I'm making is some steak bites. So I just have this boneless sirloin that I'm cutting up into bite sized pieces and I'm going to marinate that in some onion powder, black pepper, garlic salt coconut aminos or soy sauce would also work and then some pica pepper sauce or any other um, steak sauce would work as well. I just marinated that probably for about four or five hours. Um, it doesn't have to be that long but just however much time you have the more it marinates the better it will be. So when you're ready to cook, you can go ahead and heat some oil in a heavy bottom skillet. I'm just using my enamel coated cast iron and once the skillet is hot, you can go ahead and start adding in your steak bites. Um, you don't want to let them overcook, so just cook them about one minute on each side. My skillet was really hot. As you can see, those steak bites actually got pretty dark. So I waited a few minutes and turned down the heat before I added these in and they weren't as dark. And this batch definitely did come out a lot better than the first batch. My skillet was a little bit too hot for the first ones, but they all did taste pretty good. They were really tender, and like I said, you don't want to cook them for more than one minute on each side. And then I just had some cheesy potatoes in the oven that I'm going to be serving with these. Uh, those are from the box uh, from Betty Crocker, and then I also served it with a side of salad with some ranch, and this was a super easy and yummy meal. So next up is some crawfish etouffee, and if you don't have crawfish where you're at, you can definitely use shrimp for this recipe. It's still super yummy. 
So I just one, did one little scoop of this Pick 5 seasoning blend um, because I like more onions. So as you can see, I do have um, onions on the side over there that were fresh. And so after I cooked the Pick Sweet blend down a little bit just to get the chill off of them, I went ahead and added the fresh onions. And I'm just going to let those cook down until they get soft and just right before they start to brown. And you can add a little bit of olive oil onto them to kind of encourage them to cook down. So after your vegetables have cooked down, go ahead and add one stick of butter or eight tablespoons of butter. Y'all, I am not a fan of Blue Bonnet. Just to throw that out there, this was a substitute from uh, the Walmart delivery. Um, I would not choose Blue Bonnet, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. But anyways, go ahead and melt that butter into your pot. And then after the butter is melted, you add a fourth a cup of flour and just stir that around until it makes kind of a paste. And then after the paste is made, you can go ahead and cut open your crawfish or your shrimp and add that in there with one cup of water. I also added one Nor chicken bouillon cube. These are really good and full of flavor. So then I went ahead and took one of the crawfish bags and I filled it up a little bit less than halfway and then I just dumped that water into the pot because that just adds some flavor from the packaging that the crawfish was in. Then I went ahead and seasoned with some Cajun redhead. I find this at Rouse's. It's a really good seasoning but if you don't have this any season all will do. If you want it spicy definitely don't forget to add a little bit of cayenne. And then I let that come to a boil and added a little bit of Tony's dry roux. Y'all know I can't make anything that has a gravy without adding some Tony's dry roux. I just feel like it adds a lot of flavor, it adds a little bit of color, and it also thickens the gravy. So after I stirred in that dry roux, I went ahead and turned the heat down low and covered my pot for about 30 minutes and let it cook like that. And once it was ready to serve, we just put it over rice and ate it by itself. No sides needed. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.